what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? The attorney for Larry English, the man who owns the house that was under construction in question in the Ahmad Arbery case, says that it appears that Ahmad was simply stopping at the house to get water. He said that there is a water source at the back of the house near the dock and in front of the house. Now, while the videos that they have released does not show Ahmad actually getting any water. It shows him leaving the area of where the water sources are. The last video shows him taking a few steps toward the road before he starts to jog. Now, it is also said that Ahmad jogged past the killer's home. This is Gregory and Travis McMichael. They, he jogged near their home, or past their home, just prior to them murdering him. Now, there's been some speculation about what Ahmad was doing in the house. They were trying to make him out of a thief. They, they kept on saying that the guy uh, was there to steal something, take something. And it was proven that nothing was taken. The owner said nothing was taken from the house. He didn't, he said he saw the guy on video. He didn't consider the guy to be a threat. He never called authorities. He never reported anything stolen from his house. He said, in fact, Many people had stopped at his house to look at the house while it was under construction. Nothing was ever taken, many people. Uh, I think it's safe to assume that there were also some white people who stopped at that house to let, take a look inside. I'm sure, I bet you a dollar to a donut, Travis McMichael or his father or both of them actually stopped at that house to take a look around. Nobody shot them. Nobody hunted them down. Nobody said, hey, stop. I want to talk to you with the guns drawn. I'm sure that they had other white neighbors who stopped to take a look, to see what the new neighbor was building in their neighborhood. And they wasn't questioned about what they were doing. They wasn't ordered to stop and have guns drawn on them. This, in my opinion, was a cold-blooded, calculated murder. And let me tell you something else. Even if, and this is a huge if, even if Ahmaud Arbery did take something from the house, it still doesn't give them the authority to hunt him down and murder him. If they don't catch him in the act of doing it, they can't even make a citizen's arrest. You can't go following people and then call yourself making a citizen's arrest. This was murder. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Now here's the deal. All of this is really speculation that Ahmad Arbery is the person in the actual video. They can't be certain that it's him. One thing is certain is that the owner has video of other people who were on the site. So that's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. You know, the father and the son has separate defense attorneys. Why do you think that is? Dum, 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 d
Dun, da, 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 da. Time's up. Here's what I think. I think they have separate defense attorneys because that is the only chance that Gregory McMichael has of getting out of jail to throw his son under the bus. That's why they got separate defense attorneys. Somebody's going to flip. Oh, they're going to flip. I'm telling you, when they start looking at that real, that time, that time, that especially if they put that death penalty on the table. Oh, yeah. They're going to give it up. And listen, and like I said, Gregory and Travis McMichael, they may be close in the sense of proximity. But as far as like real love, they ain't got that. Because again, no father would have put his son in that type of position. I know I wouldn't have put my son in a position like that. Number one, he would have taught his son to treat people based on the content of their character, not the content of their pigmentation. I bet you he beat his son a lot too. See, a lot of them dudes, they come from that type of background. This is why they're so angry. And they're angry at all the wrong people, people who ain't ever did nothing to them personally. But that's too much like right to hate the people who really abuse you on a daily basis, people that's responsible for your convictions. Yeah. So... I suspect that it's going to be a whole lot of singing real soon. Now that they've been exposed, one can only imagine what the three Rocheteers who are responsible for the murder of Ahmaud Arbery is thinking right now. They thought this was going to get swept under the rug like all of the other infractions that they've committed in the past and their low-down, nothing-ass lies. It was all good about a week ago. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?